John Rabalato, a.k.a. Johnny Roberts, a.k.a. Abraham Roberts. Rabalato was the hoodlum who, in 1952, duped New Jersey mob boss Willie Moretti to attend a meeting at a restaurant in Cliffside, New Jersey. Moretti was killed there a few minutes after the meeting started. Legend says that the murder got Rabalato into the mafia, although there is no evidence to back that up and it doesn't appear to make much sense. Rabalato was more than already a made man when he made the hit on Moretti. Rabalato, who worked out of the Greenwich Village area of Manhattan, was originally sponsored for membership in the Mafia by Anthony Stralo, better known as Tony Bender, but was rejected because his brother was a policeman. Albert Anastasia, who had more influence than Bender did, and Rabalato was allowed in under Anastasia's sponsorship. Rabalato was indebted to Anastasia and rose up in the organization until Anastasia was murdered in 1957. With Anastasia dead, Carlo Gambino, Anastasia's consigliere but unpopular in the family rank and file, was made acting boss by a decision from the commission in November of 1957. It took the commission to make the call because it was widely known that Gambino didn't have enough capos supporting him to be elected. Inside the family, Gambino faced strong opposition from a clique led by Armand Tommy Rava, who remained fiercely loyal to the memory of Albert Anastasia. Backing Rava was Jimmy Squillant, Anthony Rizzo, Joe Paterno, Salvatore Chiri, Anthony Anastasio, Agostino Amato, Carmine Lombardazzi, and Jerry Dacwilla. A second fraction, the so-called Scalis faction which backed Gambino, consisted of Frank Scalis, Antonio Conti, Joseph Castellano, Louis Morici, and Terry Zappi. A third fraction backed Joe Biondo to be boss. In his fraction were Joe Rico Bono, Domenico Arcuri, Joe Trena, and Frank Peroni. It was the Biondo faction, specifically the Rico Bono crew, that had killed boss Albert Anastasia in October 1957. A few months before that, in Ube of 1957, the Anastasia faction, specifically the Squillant crew, killed Frank Scalis in June 1957 and killed his brother in September. Against the advice of his friend Joe Valachi, Rabalato joined Rava's group. After a while, Rabalato saw that Volacci had tendered good advice, told Rava he was backing out of the group that he didn't support Rava to lead the family or anyone else. By then, the shooting had already started and would turn into a complete civil war in November of 1957. It would go on until July of 1960, when Gambino was officially made boss of the family that would eventually take his name. On September 7, 1958, Rabalato, an undertaker by trade, age 54, at around 3 a.m., was found face down in a gutter on Utica Avenue in East Flatbush in Brooklyn. The spot where he was found was only feet from King's Highway. Whispers were that Rabalato, who owned two very successful nightclubs in Brooklyn and Manhattan, had been out to a popular mob bar called Sam Shill in Canarsie. He had been lured out of the club, placed in a car, shot in the left ear twice and twice more in the left cheek, and then was dumped. But was the Civil War the real reason for Rabalato's death? It was learned decades later that Rabalato was a federal informant, which may have been the real reason he was murdered. As for Rava, he disappeared sometime after December 1959. After that, most of the Anastasia faction gave in to Gambino.